Hi, my name's Gavin Brown and I'm the relieving head teacher of English here at Grace Dames High School. Uh, Grace Dames English faculty comprises of about eight full-time teachers and those teachers teach a diversity of students including um, accelerated classes and some supported and differentiated classes. We have teachers that specialise in EALD and support students whose language background is in English. We also provide a number of extracurricular activities including public speaking and debating and we're very proud that English over the last five years has consistently performed above state average for the high school certificate. English is a subject that enriches our students lives and we feel that we provide them with a curriculum that will challenge and inspire our 21st century Hi, my name is Jasper Wall. I'm an English teacher at Grace Dean's High School. I've been working at Grace Dean's High School for six years now. During my time at Grace Dean's High School, I've had the opportunity to teach the English Studies course a few times. Hi, my name is Miss Chris. Um, I have uh, a number of roles at the school. First of all, I'm a classroom teacher. Um, in the English faculty. I'm also the English as an additional language teacher uh, coordinator and I'm the head teacher of innovation and classroom mentoring which is a new position that I've um, started this, this year and it's been really exciting. The English faculty engage with the students. Uh, the English faculty does a number of things to really engage our students. We follow a LISC um, system whereby we have a learning intention for every lesson where we posit a particular question to the kids and then we provide them with success criteria that they have to meet in order to be successful in that lesson. English really prides itself in being able to use multimodal texts, um, visual texts, narrative texts, drama texts to really engage our students and force them to consider real life issues in our society. We also ask the kids to do a number of wide reading activities where we showcase the kids a number of different things occurring in our society and our world and really challenge them to think, question and consider where they stand on particular issues and values. We challenge them to be better writers using technology, using different scaffolds, and we challenge them to be more innovative in their ability to represent ideas using ICT and using a range of multimodal texts. English is a powerful subject area and we're really proud that we offer our students a number of different ways to engage with it. What topic. makes English studies different to standard and advanced? So English Studies is a non-ATAR course, which means if you'd like to go to university straight out of high school, then English Studies is not the course for you. English Studies is more about opening up the world of vocational education to kids and showing them that English actually has real life applications outside of analysis and essays. In English Studies, we move towards actually preparing you for the workforce, living life outside of your parents' house, and learning how to communicate in day-to-day -day life. What are some of the new teaching ideas that you are practicing? Okay, so this year's been pretty exciting. In my role as Head Teacher of Innovation and Classroom Mentoring, we're trialling or having a go at project-based learning in the classroom. So I've been uh, trialling project-based learning with my Year 8 class and it's been really fun and exciting because it's been student-driven, student-centred. Um, the kids have had lots of opportunities to have freedom of choice in terms of what they would like to create in the particular tasks that we're doing. Um, they're using lots of technology with BYOD at the moment. It's been fantastic because kids have had the opportunity to have their own devices in class um, as well as the devices that we complement them with um, from various from the faculties. So in the English faculty, Faculty has a pot of laptops that we bring in and that helps the project based learning unit because it allows them you know, to use their devices to create a variety of, of different texts which is really exciting um, and it's again putting I suppose if you put out the values of respect, responsibility and active learning, project based learning really supports active learning, it's getting kids engaged in their own learning, making their own choices and working collaboratively which is you know, a skill that I think they need for life um, and with all the kids working together and communicating they are really developing the skills that they need to be successful adults in the workforce.